On Monday, the city of Fort St. John announced that plastic bags are now banned from recycling bins. Starting July 1st, bags will have to be taken separately to a recycling depot just like glass, styrofoam and electronics. The city now says they are partnering with the Northern Environmental Action Team to help get the word out on proper recycling habits. Neat, along with a few summer students, will go door to door talking to locals about what's in their bins. We'll be replacing the stickers on the tops of the bins because there are changes to the accepted materials that are going in. So that will ensure that everybody has the most up-to-date information possible. They are also going to be engaging with residents. We'll, you know, lift the lid, take a peek in there, and see what's there. And if we notice stuff that shouldn't be there, you know, a knock on the door and a, hey, we're, you know, we're just in the neighborhood, we'd like to just stop by. We notice that you've got X, Y, and Z in your bin. Just wanted to make sure that you understand that that's not an accepted material. Or alternatively, you know, hey, we looked in your bin and you're doing a really fantastic job and we just wanted to say thank you, keep it up. The action plan is to help residents understand what plastics can and cannot be recycled. So dog food bags or pet food bags are something we had a lot of questions about. This one's fine because it's all plastic. But if it was like this and it has paper with a plastic lining, that's a no. Anytime that you have two materials put together in a way that you can't separate them, that it's done. Neat says there's been a need for an educational component like this program and that there's a lot that residents can learn. Recycling is a little bit different than garbage. People throw their garbage away and they never think about it again. They know it quite goes to the landfill and that's fine. Your recycling is touched by people. <laughs> it's not away. It's not its final destination when it leaves your blue bin. So that would be the number one thing. If you don't want to touch this again, it shouldn't be in your bin. The NEAT team hopes to hit the ground running at the beginning of July and end the program around late August. They say their ultimate goal for the summer is to help reduce heavy contamination coming into recycling facilities. Myron Main, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.